Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to talk a bit about OpenJDK, which is a base image for Docker when working with Java applications, and it has been deprecated. And we'll then talk a bit about what that means and what we should do. But first of all, I would like to thank everyone in the comments, providing very grateful and meaningful feedback, for I was actually just informed by a comment that OpenJDK has been deprecated. I didn't know. But also, if you just looked at Docker Hub, which is like the central point of all information regarding like these base Docker images, it makes it very clear that OpenJDK deprecated your notice that it has been deprecated. And what that very simply means is that it will still work and probably still work for quite a while, but they will no longer update all the images, meaning that if some new like issue or security issues were found, it wouldn't be updated and we therefore have security issues and maybe other issues coupled to our application of running stuff inside our Docker containers and that's problematic. And we can also already see here that they have like a few recommendations. I personally like using a lib Tamarin and that's what we're going to be like swapping out for OpenJDK. So the main point is I will showcase here that I had a working Java Spring Boot application, which I then put inside a Docker environment. I was just using OpenJDK 17, JDK Alpine. And I think it's actually very important just to showcase things work when talking about this. Otherwise, it can seem a bit, a bit magical. So let me just quickly showcase that we have Docker. So I'm inside with the Docker file. I can do to Docker build ST Spring API to OpenJDK. And we're going to build that. And I'm just very simply going to run it and show it works. It's just a very, very simple Spring Boot application, just having a simple REST API where we can get to some user information. And then after I have shown that it actually still works with OpenJDK, we'd like to like swap to Tamarin and we're going to go through like the process, even though it's very, very simple. But just to understand that we're actually changing, it doesn't look like we're changing anything, but we're actually changing the way it's built in the background. So now we have a Docker of images and I have a few other images probably, but we're just using at the spring. Couldn't spell, but it doesn't matter. We've got this sapring open JDK name. I would then do Docker not to build anymore, Docker run. We need to port forward, port 8080 to port 8080. So actually access the information in our spring container. And we can do sapring whatever I named it and run it. And if we then give it a few seconds, we should be able to see it outputting in the console, our Spring Boot setup, and it's running on 8080. I then tested it before, but let's show again, we can do as localhost slash 8080, slash user with an ID. And as you can see here, it also like reloaded, noticing that we have been connected to something. And we can then get user information. So I have a few users I went before. But that's not too important. The main thing is it works with WJDK, but we would like to change it because this is deprecated. So I would now open a new terminal. I would close my terminal container my container. We would then go into Docker Hub and say, okay, we would no longer use OpenJDK. Let's use Eclipse Tamron. And the first thing I would do is I would simply go into tags. And I would then search because we have the name of the image and we then have the tag of the image. And what we're doing already is using Java 17 and it's been running in an Alpine like Linux environment. So let's first check if this actually also exists in Lips Tavern. And in this case, we are lucky more or less. And we actually have a matching, completely matching image. So we can actually just swap out our OpenJDK with Ellipse Tamarin. And I will then once again do Docker. Let's see if we can name it a bit better this time, but Docker build. And it's all automatically saved in IntelliJ, so don't worry about that, but Docker build. And we're gonna call it this time, Spring API Eclipse Tamarin. And we're gonna build this from here, like that. And in this case, already like built, you tried using Eclipse Summer and just before playing this video, it says it works, so it's going to be very fast. But 
a now can see we have our Docker images. We now both have a Spring just using OpenJDK. We also have our the summer on one. And we could then similar do Docker run port forward 8080 to 8080 and now runs our ellipse summary build image and we should again see the same spring information pop up and we should be able to now go back into postman and run our calls to the api once again and actually get the same result and just once again i'd like to to thank people in the comments actually providing feedback and in this case i think it's very important to be aware and always try our best to be aware of when things get deprecated. So I hope you enjoyed this quick showcase and discussion about deprecation and our Docker Hub setups. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.